Hello, it's Melissa Lynard on here. I hope you've been enjoying finding your style and putting together your own mood board. Today, I wanted to share with you a few tips on how to create your own digital mood board and use your images from Pinterest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to um, what I am starting to put together. So this is just a blank PowerPoint presentation um, board. And what we're gonna do is go into my Pinterest account and this is the mood board I've been putting together for myself. Um, let's just say, for example, I am renovating my kitchen. I have started to introduce some um, photos of kitchens that I really like. But not only that, just other um, images that really resonate with me that I love. Um, and you can start to see a pattern that emerges when you look at your um, Pinterest board as a whole, just like this. So what we're gonna do is step back for a moment and have a look at what isn't working and delete them from our uh, Pinterest board. So you can already see and start to see a pattern emerge, you know, lots of beautiful terracotta linen colors, a bit of greenery. And in terms of the aesthetic, you know, not every style has to have a name, you know, it looks like it's like a minimal sort of feel, but, I don't like the stark coldness that comes from a minimal design. You know, it seems like it's still very comfortable and warm. So um, I want to include the images that are very comfortable and warm rather than very harsh, cold, straight lines that minimalism does offer, which is like some of these photos here. So I don't really want to introduce those into my mood ball. So for now, let's um, get some of those images that we really love and pop them into Pinterest. So we just click on the image, we right click and press copy, then we go into our Pinterest board, sorry, into our PowerPoint, and we are just going to um, align a few of these up. We don't have to worry too much um, at the moment with the layout. Let's just bring them all into PowerPoint, like so. Um, I love, this is a, a sofa that I've been wanting for a very long time. It's on my wish list. And even though I am renovating a kitchen, you know, that is a must have item I want to have one day. So I think it's important to have some of those key pieces in your mood board as well. Same with these handles. Um, I just love a feature handle. I think it can add a really lovely, a focal point to a kitchen when the cabinets are very simple. You know, you can add a, a lovely touch that way. What else do we have? This soft linen, um, you know, even though it's a scarf, um, I think I really love that the texture that comes with linen, it's very soft and raw and comfortable, which I think uh, I want to include in, in my home. Um, what else do we have? This bathroom, you know, even though I'm not renovating a bathroom, um, I still love the colours, um, you know, that beautiful olive green in the brass. It's so beautiful. You know, maybe I can incorporate some of that green into some cabinetry in the kitchen and that brass will actually tie in with the handles that I'd love to introduce. Maybe it's the kitchen tap or I could introduce brass in a light fitting, for example. Um, what else do we have? This image here I love because it really resonates with that whole relaxed resort style feeling that I um, am attracted to. Um, what else? Just a couple more. Um, maybe an image. Actually, there's this beautiful art piece that I've been loving for a while from this artist. And um, I'd love to include that somewhere in the home. Okay, so for now, we've got a good mix of images. Let's just make them all smaller at the moment so we can see them and see what we have. And once again, we step back. You just always keep refining and looking at your images and seeing what doesn't really suit or what doesn't um, tie in with the rest of the images that we have here. So already you can start to see a, a trend or, or, you know, um, a theme really coming to mind. It's lots of these beautiful terracotta, bluey sort of tones. Um, you know, there's a bit of brass that's coming up as well. Um, but I think I want to still introduce an image 
that encapsulates that minimal design that I like um, and how we can soften it. There was an image I actually saw, this one here. Now that's, for me, um, it's quite minimal because, you know, the there's no cornices, really high ceilings. The sofa's very linear. Um, doesn't look very comfortable, but that's where it will actually work with these other images I've put in place, you know, by adding lots of cushions and timber, that's really going to add the softness to the space. All righty. So now it's time to arrange them and make them look gorgeous um, because this PowerPoint, um, you know, template here that we've put together, we can then use when we go shopping um, or we show our interior designer or our architect. So let's try and find the hero piece um, in, in all these uh, images. And I think for me, it's gotta be this photo here because I love, it's still got a tropical sort of vibe, um, quite minimal, but the colors are, are really there. So let's make that our first sort of bigger image to use. Um, and then we play around with the rest to try and make them fit. Um, let's move me over there. Okay, so. Now, see how this um, handle has a black background? We want to get rid of that. So if you press format, remove background, you can then highlight the image and it will get rid of the background. So that's brilliant. Let's pop him over there for a minute. Same with the Togo sofa. Um, and see how he's behind all the images as well. If you right click and you press bring to front, he's going to come into the front. So now there's a lot of white space as well um, that we don't really need as well as this uh, background's quite big. So if we press format and we press crop, we can get rid of that white and then once again remove background, we are going to get rid of that white background there. Done. Let's leave him there because um, I really love him. It's a piece I want to get one day. Alrighty. And then this image of this beautiful landscape, um, I think that really resonates with me that the types of colors and the feeling I want to uh, encapsulate. So this linen fabric, we can crop him if we press format, see where it says crop this little arrow, crop to shape. Let's get a circle happening. Um, and pop him there because there's lots of organic shapes happening. And that's, you know how I was saying before, how I love that minimal feeling, but you want to soften it. You, bringing in organic shapes is going to help soften the feeling um, with such, you know, uh, contemporary interiors. So you can line up images. Now, when you move them, you can actually see that dotted line that actually brings it in line with the other images we've got going on. So let's do it with that one as well. Now this beautiful artwork, um, I just want to encapsulate just this piece here. So once again, format, crop, and let's just focus on that and bring the corners to the outer edge and we can make her bigger like that. Um, and then what we can do now is start to line everything all up. So there is, um, you know, a lovely border around all the images. So I tried to keep the gap quite consistent. So there we go. Let's bring them down a bit. Keep that gap consistent as well. All right. I think we are just about done. So what you can see is I've put a border around the entire page. So that just keeps everything really neat. There. Now see how um, the handle's behind. If I right click, bring to front, 
make that a little bigger. All right, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now, in that guide that I sent through, there was a questionnaire to fill out. And some of those questions were, how do you wanna feel when you walk into the home? And those words, I like to include those in the mood board. So if we press insert text box, we're gonna put some of those words in there that uh, describe um, essentially our style. So uh, when I filled it out, relaxed is how I wanna feel when I walk through that door. Um, I also want my home to feel soft and comforting. So that's great to include some of those words in your mood board because not only do the images um, reflect your style, but so do those words too. And like I said, not every or, you know, style has to have a theme name. Um, so don't worry if you can't find a name for it. That is totally fine. It's all about that feeling that you want to create. Um, now, lastly, see how there's more gap on this side than this? If we just highlight everything, um, we can then shuffle over. There we go. So I hope you found that really useful. When you save that, please pop it up onto Instagram uh, or onto my Facebook page, and I'd love to share it and see, you know, what your style is, um, and, and let me know, you know, if those words really resonated with you from um, that questionnaire, and when you pop them into that mood board, that those words really reflect what those images are saying. So I'd love to, sh um, to see your mood board. Please share it and use the hashtag MoodboardChallengeML. And I cannot wait to see all of your style. See you later.